Hey guys, it's Pixie here with, um, friend Bo. I have no idea what, well, I kind of have a general idea of what to expect here, but as you can see, we have a list of, um, languages here. Obviously, you're going to do English, but, um, I just want to have a little quick shout out to my brother who bought this game for me as a birthday present, but not really a birthday present, but, <laughs> um, he also requested I play this game, so there you go, bro, bro. I love you. English. Oh my god, this is really cute. Yes, yeah, so I've never played. Oh my god. <laughs> Does the cat follow me? No, just Frembo. Yeah, I've never played this before. Uh, I watched. I think I saw like kind of the trailer for it. I didn't watch it all the way through. It's a point-and-click puzzle game, from what I understand, and uh, it's got kind of an Alice in Wonderland -y feel to it. So let's look at our options real quick, because everyone likes that. V-Sync, not entirely sure. Can I make it better? Uh, it's a different, oh, uh, whatever, I don't care, I'm fine with that. All right, so let's start the game. So distracted, can we make a cross-eyed? Yeah, that must be friend there. Hey, friend! This game uses autosave feature. Okay, cool. I hate that, actually. Everything's fine. She looks pretty happy. It feels like heaven. <laughs> That's creepy. Uh, I see my parents. My mom and my... That's your dad? They look happy. Looks like your brother or something. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a broken basket. Ooh. Ah, it's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Hmm. Dark as the deepest night. True. <laughs> oh my god, it is cute. It's Mr. Midnight! Okay, my best friend. If I get a black cat, I'm probably gonna call it Midnight. My only friend! You have no legs, friend. We were having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. Aunt Grace has feet. I really like her a lot. That's cute. Kitty. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Oh, let me guess, they're gonna die. I, I swear to god, I've never seen this game before, so if I'm right, I'm sorry. Alan Grace took, takes good care of me. Look at <laughs> Mr. Midnight is lapping up that milk. We are having so much fun. Oh, look at the little butthole. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. Yeah, but something feels real bad. You're... Oh. A strange creature outside my window. Got chicken pox on your curtains there. I don't like it. It scares me. It's got upside down heart for a nose, though. <gasps> Suddenly, I hear something. Ooh, it's mom screaming! Ah! I want to know what's wrong. Well, they're in their bedroom and they're screaming. That's normal. A bright light shines from my parents' room. They're giving birth to the Messiah. I go closer. Light switch. Is there a jump scare? And closer. And closer. And closer. Oh. Mom? Dad? It's knife to see ya. Please don't. Make puns. Oh my goodness gracious. Mommy? Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> They're black now. <gasps> Did I kill them? Oh. Music. Mr. Midnight's huge. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, she fell. Oh, poor Franny. She fell on her fanny. <laughs> Mr. Midnight. You look pretty angry. Oh, someone's getting close to us. Pairs of feet. Ooh. Being carried by Voldemort here. Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. A one, a two, a three. Bark, boom. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! It looks like Bumby. Three. Get the fuck up, friend. How do you feel? I am mm. fine, I guess. I feel like dying. I feel okay. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. 
I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. Alright. I'll find my cat and the killer. Nobody does anything. Let me find my cat. I'll find the killer and my cat. Take that. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back when it is. Okay, you like, you know these things. But now I have something for you, friend. What is, what is it? What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. Oh, cool. It's for Mont Grace. Take it. Oh, I will. Look at that creepy poster over there. Take the... Oh, I like these kind of games. Okay, where's my inventory? This was my mother's purse. Weird. Wouldn't that be, like, evidence and stuff? Open it. There's something inside. There is... Oh, this is my inventory! Good job, game. Good job. You gross a hand. Uh, examine. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine- Okay. What immersion is broken. <laughs> so, I hope you always keep this purse and give it all the other things. Use- You find a good use. Okay, yeah, whatever. Thanks, Aunt Grace, for the tutorial. She is worried about you. You're not even looking at me, sir. Aunt Grace, I'm worried too. Uh, I don't know. What's it? I guess I'm- I'm not really worried, but I guess I'm worried too. I don't know. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still hurt- Okay, I didn't know that would say that. Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. The way you're just standing there doing nothing. You're so out of control. I'm so tired of all this. Can I leave now? I'm gonna say- Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Okay, cool. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Ha <laughs> ha What medicine? What medicine? her asymmetrical haircut there. It's called Duetin, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready! Where's the nurse? Whoa! <laughs> That's not scary at all. Anything new today, Dr. Dan? Nothing, actually. Some visions, as before. He really does look like Bumby from, uh, uh, Alice Madness Returns. Oh, I say. Here, yeah, friend, take your medicine. I don't want to. Can I... This music is scary. We don't have all day, friend. Take the pills now. Can I walk over here? Oh, I can. Whoa. There you go. Yep. That's how pills work. I don't feel good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh! Oh, get away from him. Get away from him. Oh. Okay. Oh no, take her back to her room! And nurse, don't lick her, don't lick her, yes, don't take, let her take this ever again. Okay, I guess I shouldn't take my pills. Whatever. Actually, I want those pills, those are pretty cool things there. Beware, friend Bo. Of the hill with the goat's head on it. If you leave the house of madness. Dude. Ooh, touchy, I will hunt you down and catch you <laughs> and bring you back to insanity. I can't do it good. Oh, there's Mr. Midnight there. Friend, wake up. Meow. The medicine will help you escape. Meow, meow. Meow. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Meowers. I love you. Mm. So much. So, so soon. Chapter 1. My sober day. My sobriety day. Okay. A day sober? Sounds good to me. Oh, of course. You would put that in a, a room with mentally unstable, like, especially anxious people. Yeah. Get up. Get up. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Get up. You stupid woman. Alright, so, so much to do. This is a bed. I don't want to. I just woke up. Yeah, well, don't give me attitude, miss. Idiot. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. You can always sleep with your head facing that way. Case, blah, 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 blah. Name, friend, Bo Dagenhart. Dagenhart, age 10. Gender female. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy details omitted, of course. 
treatment, Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Uh, documented July 25th, 1944. What about, um, psycho- what? I'm not that for sure. Signs of psychosis. Okay. Um, what are these? Oh, yeah, Bo. Oh, here we go. Red and Timmy, you are hiding from me. Uh. Oh, dear. I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight. I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. No, oh, dear. I miss you. Okay. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he was. Hmm. I wonder if the cat is actually, like... I don't know. Well, never mind. I'm not good. It's too soon to be, like, theorizing. Locked. Good reason to get curious yet. Clown. I will get your nose. I will get it. <laughs> it's cute. What is this? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. I like how she has her hands up there. That's cute. Oh, fuck. Oh, holy moly. Something fell. Let me pick that up. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. I like how she's still, like, she's, like, really dark, but she still kind of has, like, this childish... I mean, she is a child, but I guess her child-likeness hasn't truly gone down the drain. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Yeah, what's outside? Oh, her eye is creepy. The way the music stopped, that was pretty creepy. Tower defense! We have, what, four... Oh, whatever. Uh, I don't think my head fit for the window. Tower defense, we have for you a crazy person called friend. Um, or is it defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. What the? Okay. Ah, let's go this way. Um, I don't want to talk to you yet. You look like a chore. Oh, a secret box! Shh! Examine that sh shit. A little box, it's open. Can I look inside it then? And was that? It's just a hook. Golden hook that fell from the curtains. Alright. Teddy bear! I hope somebody loves you. Okay, it looks like she's looking at the little boy. I hope somebody loves you. I used to have a blue dress like yours. There's another cross. Who's this? Fillmore Bronstone, age eight, was a little one. History, the patient came to Oswald asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. <clears throat> treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust. He refuses to be questioned. Oh, okay. Oh, poor Phil. I understand why you wouldn't trust them. Yeah, they're fucking kind of creepy this far. I'm not entirely sure. Hello. Hello, Phil. Fill me in. <laughs> Hello. Know any way out? How are you? How are you? Oh, whoa, whoa. Everybody says that I'm sick. Uh, I have to find a kitty now, bye. They are just stupid. I probably wouldn't say that, but they always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. Uh, I don't know how this game actually works, so. I'll try to find, I'll try and find kitty, bye. Uh, I don't fucking know. What, what would I want to say? What would make this sick boy feel a little better? I will if you help me. I'll try and I'll find kitty. I'll try and find Mr. Kitty. Bye! I wonder if that was just a way to get out of the conversation. Hello, Phil. Hello. Oh, okay. It's just the same. Alright. How are you? Uh, they're just stupid. I have to find my kitty. I'll find my kitty. Bye. If I can't find any sort of help, then I'll just talk to that little guy again. His feet are gross. Oh, wooden Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? Oh, Mr. Chair. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? Fuck you, friend, and your attitude. Of course it's not. There's a lot of points to sitting down, you little tart. Alright, let's go. Woo-wee! That's creepy. My legs are just fine. Alright. Nurse bitch face over there. <laughs> she looks pretty scary. Um, not too easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Perhaps. Let's go back. 
Um, empty bottle, empty glass is nothing useful. We're playing in an adventure game. Point and click adventure. Those are always useful. Towels, towels. I don't need towels. What if you take a shower? I don't think I need even this. What about this shit up here? You can take that. Can't see through that window. What about this one? Well, look a bunny. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Alright, let's talk to Miss Nurse, nurse Scary Face. Actually, let's examine her table first. Uh, I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know that nurses always keep the medicine, but where? Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Hello? Oh, friend, you're awake. She looks really bad. How long was I asleep? Hmm. Three days, baby! Whoa, that is a long time. So many days! Was it the medicine? That made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it anymore. I did something. Something happened. I don't know. I Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. Ugh. She got nothing but trouble. What is it? <laughs> How am I trouble? Broke the curtains. Nothing. Nothing. Can I? Okay, I can't walk behind her. It looks like there's cigarettes there. Uh, you know, I'm gonna ask. What was his face? What was his name? What was your name, Phil? I'm gonna ask Phil something, cause maybe he'll serve as a distraction. Baby, I don't know. Like I said, I've never played this game before. This is blind. I'm just using what I know from adventure games that I've played. Uh, how are you? Blah 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 blah. Whoop! Oh, shit. Damn it. Sorry. Hello, Phil. <laughs> She's like, I'm crazy. This bitch keeps saying the same thing to me. How are you? But everyone says I'm sick. They are just stupid. Yep. Now, I will if you help me. I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office, the office is the key. There's a key inside? There's a key? Is the key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code! Ooh, a secret code? A secret code to open the yellow door? Wait, what yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? The doctor, I'm assuming. Who? Him! Ooh, that's not. It's... Oh! <laughs> Shit! All doors are closed, you are a prisoner of my games! Now that we see him, and nobody will help you escape. Okay, I'm a hell spawn. Oh, I guess he just had to come in and tell us that. Leave me alone! I hate you. Uh, well, I like how he just kind of appeared there and then he disappeared. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Yeah, that's right, Frimbo. You fuck that guy up. Um, is there a way to? Is it the exit? Escape? Want to return the menu? Uh, no. I think I know what V-Sync is now. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell her I broke the thing because she'll probably go and look at it. Hopefully she goes to look at it. No, something happened! See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Have to accidentally. My ass. I have to fix this. Follow me. No, don't. Don't follow her. You hurt feet have very, very weird fully. Okay, I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. No, she's not. That would just be crazy if I touched anything. Alright. I better go and talk to her. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside. But she's like way far away. Oh, wait, no, she isn't. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. Good job, friend. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? See nothing. No, miss, I haven't seen anything. She looks really mad. Well, I have to go and find someone to fix this, you little girl. All right, you go and do that. All right, what is all this bullshit over here? That's medicine. I get this patch to stop the. Oh, that's never mind. I'm sorry. That's coffee, isn't it? Ew! 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 Coffee's good. Oh boy, great nurse name, Gladys. Hannah, Franbo, 
the patient has been sleeping almost all uh all the time i don't know she only wakes up to drink water but i don't think she remembers that uh something drinks she goes to sleep uh i can't read handwriting you guys um she hasn't been s for three days some kinds have come around and about her and the mm. good thing this is right okay so 8h it's a1 b2 okay well that i can we keep this the nurse's handwriting is awful. I only understand three words. Friend, sleeping, and duotine. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> duotine. Alright. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children. No shit. Totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe defects. Uh... Deficits. <laughs> uh, deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, ECT, ETC. <laughs> because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain! <laughs> Frontal lobe. For yeah. Motor cortex, sensory cortex, partial lobe, five optical lobe, temporal lobe. This is probably going to be important later. Let me see. Trauma is hmm. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. Hee hee. That brain looks like a turtle. No, it doesn't. What's this? Oh, a gun. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Take it with me. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Oh yeah, I guess if you took it, that would be bad. Hide. I think there's a medicine, but it's locked. Okay, so I have to write this down. I think, if this is what I think it is, then it's pretty f simple. So it'd be eight, nine, four, five. All right, not too bad for our first puzzle. Okay, let's open this now. Examine the tiny patches to cure wounds. That's funny. She says to cure wounds. I don't know if that was like intentional, but when you're a little kid, sometimes you think like when I was a little kid, I thought uh, bandages like salt everything. So my pills are inside. I know I have to cut the code. Um, how do I use it? Okay, so that would be eight, eight, nine, four, five. Hell yeah! The pills! Kitty told me these would help me. Seems rather not right, but okay. Um, What's in there? A key? This certainly opens up. Okay, yeah, I just realized how using items work. Because I thought it meant like to use them on the environment, but apparently not. Where the hell did the nurse go? Oh well, let's look at this again. Oh, a sweet melody! <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Phil, what's up? You look like shit. Unlike me. Uh, okay. Use on the, use tiny key with door. This key is too tiny. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh boy. All right. Use key with that. Yeah. That's really weird. Yes, yes, I got it. And there's something inside. Um, a hairpin. My hair clip. I should give it. I should. Okay, yeah. Probably pick a lock with that. I'm assuming. Examine. Ew, gross. Your dad's creepy looking. I like she looks so different from her family. Like her eyes are bulging and stuff. Mr. Midnight there. Okay. Uh. Let's use our this thing. Use on the door. Pretty sure you could use your hair clip. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Um, the hook as well. Combine that with this. I'm not sure what to do with this. Uh. Wait. Wait a minute, what? Take that. Bind it. Argue, it won't work. Okay. Maybe I use them separately. <laughs> okay. Use that on that, and then use this 
on that. Okay. Um. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know what to do with the examine. Oh, uh, it fell from the curtains. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I can check. Do I not have my medications right now? That was weird. Okay, so I. Hmm. I need things. I need things here. Look at him. Empty bottle, empty glass. Is there something I missed under the table? I take that little spoon. Mm. Oh, hey, pills! I wonder if pills send you to an alternative dimension. Yep, they do. They do. How long do they last, though? <laughs> That's so cool! You found your head. Cool. Oh, is that my head? It is. You, you whore. Oh, okay. At least it's still happy in this world. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Yeah, totally. Where'd the clown go? Where did, yeah, where did the clown go? Mm. The drawer is empty. Uh, I I was not me. Who did it? Maybe we did it. We were possessed. I wish I could know the answer. I'll find out, I promise. I wonder if this game's gonna be really sad. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. I want to look at this woman here. She's been knitting. Hello, Miss Nurse! Okay, this is a knitting needle there. Pick that shit up. Yep. This game actually kind of reminds me of, um... What's it called? Cat, cat Lady? The Cat Lady? Only in this gameplay aspect. You got a little blood on your mouth! Are you okay? Alright, empty bottles. Watch your step. Why? There's nothing wrong here. Ooh, look at a little handprint. Oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. Only the... Oh, there used to be a window here, but now it's gone. Weird. I wonder if it's worth talking to this thing. Hello. Get out, creepy creature. That wasn't nice. Really? Is that all you're saying? What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? You like to see me be bad? I do like that nurse over there, though. That looks... <laughs> I've been knitting this sweater for 400 years. Good job. Whoa, he looks way creepier. Like this little deer. I wish it wasn't so blurry. Oh, okay, it stopped. Ew! Hello! Oh no, your head! I uh, tried to put your head back on. Do I have to? Oh, what a Mr. Horsey! Okay, um. Hey, boy. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Talk to the kid. Was it that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear him? To happiness. You can see. Uh. Is this really a thing? Oops. Sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. That's cool. They're supposed to be like that. Alright. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Alright. Um. Combine that with that. Awesome! Possum! And then use that on the door. Yes to happiness! I wonder if I... How long these drugs last. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but it was kind of cool looking. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Hmm. Okay. What's in here? Is this another room? Ew, gross. Can I take my pills to go back to normal life? Yes! Awesome! I love this. Hopefully these are unlimited. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy, many other things. Uh, okay. Look at that clown. He is just laughing it up. Oh, this one is one of those mute clowns. It's a mime. Yeah. Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. Who the f hell is this? Uh, Adelaida. That's not even their name. Fugents. Female, seven years old. Um, history. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment. Dr. Marshall Dern has become too close. Oh, wait, what? what? Has become close to the patient through drawings, therapy. She's making progress. Okay, cool. Um, this bed is very pink. 
This bed is very pink. Let's talk to let's look what she's doing. That's mine! My crayons! Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No! I won't be able to draw green then! That's ridiculous! But you have so many! Okay, sorry, bye.